So what I've got here is a pretty standard preset for guitar. <laughs> Um, and what I've got, I've got a send here. I've got a cable coming from SEM1, which is going to this sound card, sending it audio. You don't hear that audio, but this is getting it. And what it's doing is it's sending it to this MIDI Guitar 2 app on the iPad. And um, what that does is convert incoming audio signals and, and then goes out to MIDI. So I've got a three in one box at the back um, for MIDI. So I've got my cable going through it. I've got the quad cortex going for it for like expression stuff, which I've, I've set up via MIDI. And I'd uh, on the third input, I've I've actually got this output in MIDI from here into the synths. On the quad cortex, what I've done is I've assigned this pedal to actually turn it down, so the guitar sound will disappear when it goes there. But what that's doing is sending to this sound card now. Um, so I should have. So this pedal I'm using here, um, I'm sending a MIDI CC out, uh, Control CC um, 105, which is the filter. So it's like the wire for the synth. Um, and that actually helps me kind of, you know, fade stuff in, but I can clean it up as well, just by filtering stuff out. So just like a while for a synth really, but you're, you're playing it on guitar. This MIDI app really responds well. I've had guitar synths in the past, like hardware, where you install the pickup um, and it just never tracks as well as this does. So even getting like the vibrato and the whammy bar. Because uh, I've got Ben range enabled, I think it's on two, which is kind of standard, so I can do bends. But you gotta be so careful with it. It's where the filter comes in handy. So as well as turning the guitar sound down, uh, when I go back, it turns uh, the volume up. Um, so at the moment it's off. Um, so yeah, it's like, it's like it's doing the reverse of what the, the other one's doing, uh, but it means I can go between guitar and then synth. It's not perfect, but um, there are tweaks you can do to this to make it sort of react better. There is a sweet spot the amount of audio you send and you've got like a tone and curve and, and gain. Uh, I think I'm in, yeah, I'm in monophonic mode at the moment. So if I go to polyphonic, um, we can get, we can play chords and stuff because monophonic actually cleans up um, because you can only play one note at a time. Um, uh, the annoying thing with this app is that I, I can't change MIDI channel. So it's just by default, it's one. So this sound here that I'm playing is on channel one. Um, I can mute that sound, um, but this is on this other sounds on channel three. But I can't trigger it with a guitar when it's on three. It has to be on one. So go to channel one. Now, yeah, down here I've got got guitar. Go there. I should have synth. Uh, it's in polyphonic, and we should get like a pad sound. So at the moment, got my guitar sound. Because 
pedals down. It's not sending anything to the sound card. Um, and I've got it set up, so if I want guitar. <laughs> And then if I want synth, I'll just pedal up. Pedal down. <laughs> So it's just a good solution. It's the quad course X that enables me to do it really with routing, um, you know, being able to just send audio uh, through a different, well, through a send. Um, and you're not hearing the dry guitar that's going here at all. It's just being used to trigger the, the app. Uh, and this is just a good solution with a quad course X that I don't need another guitar um, set up just to, you know, go to my synth sound. I can literally just get it on the fly just by pushing this down. And then obviously I've got MIDI control um, you know, with the filtering and stuff as well. Um, but I just wish that this app would let you sort of change MIDI channels on the fly, but it's just stuck on channel one. But I think we can agree that, you know, for the sake of being able to have synth sounds that track really well, um, I mean, it's a small price to pay really, I guess. Um, but yeah, so that's it.